Hey, Todd Usher out at the site of our Zero Energy Ready model home here in Seneca, South Carolina, and we're framing the walls. This is one of the exciting steps where the house begins to come to life. This is the house that we've looked at the construction sequence from our closed crawl space to our engineered i-joist floor system. And now we're at the next step. We've installed the floor system and the subfloor, which I'm standing on now, and the house begins to take shape. So a couple of things I wanted to show you at this stage. You can see on the outside here that all of our walls are, are going up. The sheathing is not on the outside of the wall, so you can see through these walls right now. They will soon get OSB, oriented strand board, for structural strength, and then they'll get one inch of exterior insulation board that basically is gonna wrap this home like we would put a jacket on in the winter. But as the walls are going up, a couple of things too we can note here. We have structural headers that get installed above our openings. And we've chosen over the years to only size those headers for exactly what structural strength is needed for that opening. As you can see here behind me, this is another wall that's just been stood. And on this particular wall, our framers have already installed the structural OSB or oriented strand board. You can see there are gonna be some future window openings here and those will be cut out later, but this OSB gives the wall racking resistance and the structural strength to hold all those studs together. Now, one of the other things I wanna point out on this house is where we use engineered beams. On this particular house, we looked at the engineered I-joist floor system and the engineered open web floor trusses. Well, what's above me right here is what's called a laminated veneer lumber engineered beam. And you can probably tell this is spanning a pretty large opening. This opening is about 12 feet wide. So we need a pretty hefty beam because this beam is gonna support the load of the roof trusses overhead. So when we need a beam that'll carry a heavy load and we wanna have a nice big opening like this, we go to engineered beams. A popular feature that we're incorporating into many of our homes today, and we're also incorporating into this zero energy ready model home, is biparting or large sliding glass doors. So in this particular home, we're gonna have a 12 foot wide sliding door opening here where the two center doors will open and provide roughly an eight foot opening to bring the outside in and the inside out. So the screen porch that'll be beyond this opening is gonna open right into the great room. It's gonna bring some awesome living area for the times of year here in the South where the temperature is nice outside and you just wanna bring that outside in.